These are mini drumsticks, oh my, bro. Look at the shape. <laughs> it's definitely worth copping, but it is not better than the original brown sugar milk tea boba. Oh. What's going on, everybody? As you guys know, K-pop has been hugely popular across the globe for at least the past 10 years. And aside from just the music itself and the music videos, K-pop stars are also known for their own personal fashion style. So in this video, with the help of our sponsor, Fashion Over Men's, I'm gonna be recreating three different outfits from Sugar and V from BTS. I'm gonna show you guys how to do them. It's, it's good to take a lot of inspiration from these or you can copy them identically, which is what I'm gonna do, but I'm excited to show you guys because it's gonna be for the fraction of the price of the actual outfits. Um, so after this, me and Dan are gonna go hit H Mart and show you the top seven newest Korean snacks that you have to get when you go there. If you guys are excited about that video, make sure you hit that like button. Outfit number one is sugar from BTS. Woo! All right, guys, I have to tell you, if you are shooting a K-pop music video and you wanna dress like sugar, this is the outfit to get. I mean, it's pretty similar. I would say the only difference is he had a half zip and his cargos are probably made out of a slightly different material, more nylon. But honestly, man, for a fraction of the price, this whole outfit here was only under a hundred dollars. So, man, this is probably one of the more, you know, flashier outfits I've ever put on with the white pants and everything. That's not something usually I do, but I gotta be honest, it does look a lot like the outfit. Guys, Sugar from BTS. Oh. <laughs> so number two, the next outfit we got, boom. All right, so outfit number two is actually from Jungkook and I can tell he really knew he was gonna take this photo for the paparazzis because nobody would actually wear their shirt hanging off of their shoulder like that. I got the Korean face mask that he's wearing. So, you know, just that that's just the identical face mask that he's wearing. But aside from that, he's wearing a Balenciaga shirt that's black. I'm wearing this Aaliyah shirt from Fashion Over Men's. I have the uh, flannel shirt hanging off of my shoulder. I can't tell if his arm is actually extended through the sleeve or it's just hanging off of him like that. But either way, it's kind of a cool grungy look. He also has the parachute denim, you know, the very, very big baggy look tucked into his black boots. I actually got these from uh, the women's section on fashionova.com. So, you know, that's something new. I never really did that before, but I tucked them into my tan uh, Hoka boots. And yeah, I mean, overall, it's a cool grungy uh, kind of rocker look. I actually really like my outfit I have on right now. And it's actually, way cheaper. The whole entire outfit costs less than $120 on fashionnova.com. So this is it, outfit number two. Now on to outfit number three. Boom! Outfit number three is from Sugar from BTS. And a lot of other K-pop stars have done a similar outfit. This is actually a very popular combo. Black turtleneck, you have your coat here. This can be furry or not furry, uh, but this one is furry from Fashion Over Men's. I got the cable knit black turtleneck. I like it, how it adds a lot of texture in the middle right here. You can get them with, uh, just wear some black pants and I would recommend black boots. Right now, I don't have any. I just got these Chelsea sneakers though. But this looks cool overall, man, just to feel this classy at such an affordable price. I think it's very, very important that you guys see the range of what Fashion Over Men's has, right? You can go with many different styles and it depends on how you wear it and the combinations you use. If you wanna go all black, of course that's classy. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'll pop up a bunch of other photos of like K-pop uh, stars with like a similar outfit. But basically, man, I kind of feel like a baller. Um, this is definitely an outfit you would wear uh, on a night out, you know, more K-Town. I think some of the other outfits were more Fort Lee Pal Park. This is K-Town, man. All right, everybody, I'm here with Korean Dan. You're in outfit number one based off sugar. I'm in outfit number three based off sugar. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna head to H Mart in East Village and we're gonna show you some new Korean snacks that you probably haven't seen before. I know that a lot of people out there, you've probably seen your traditional ones. We've made videos about your traditional Korean snacks that a lot of people grew up with, but it's 2021 and there are some new releases. So I'm excited. You excited? I'm so excited. Man, let's go. Two. To be honest, I'm impressed by Fashion Over Men's selection with so many different styles and pieces to mix and match with. You can kind of get whatever look you want. And remember, a link to all my pieces are down in the description box below. Japanese milk bread with green tea milk spread. Potty baguette. That was a really good snack. So I'll say there's the green tea milk spread. Kind of tastes like a condensed milk mixed with matcha in a spread form. It is delicious, but I gotta say this Japanese milk bread is like, 
is the thing holding it down. All right, next up, we got the corn dogs. Of course, this is probably the hottest and most popular Korean street food that is making its way through America right now, as we can see through our last video that we did and how many corn dogs they're selling here at H Mart. But since we have to warm these up, let's go to the apartment real quick and then we'll come right back. All right, we're at home. Let's make these corn dogs. About to try the fish cake cheese corn dog glizzy. The Korean one, this is the one that Dan is raving about. Mmm. Really fluffy exterior. Let's see where the hot dog is. I can see why you like them, Dan. It's pretty good. Man, Koreans, they do the corn dogs good, man. They, I think they make the best corn dog. Wow, you made that look like an okay dog. <laughs> I dressed it up with the sriracha. Ah! All right, last time we had okay dog, but this is like the stay at home version. And it's still pretty good. Let's keep a pack of these in your fridge. All right, next up we got the chicken section here. I have real fried chicken and then I have the chicken crackers and you have the package here and you have the box and this is what you're supposed to do. Yo, Yo. these are mini drumsticks. Oh my, bro. look at the shape. <laughs> They're actually just little, little drumsticks. Here, let's see if the chicken crackers encapsulate the chicken flavor. You got the spicy one. I'm gonna try the non-spicy one. Korean fried chicken crackers. Really fun snack to eat. Yeah. Really fun. I, I would say the flavor is like maybe a three out of five for me, um, but just the way that it feels, it really does look like a fried chicken drumstick. <laughs> we just had the crackers. Now we gotta have the real chicken from BBQ Chicken um, that is inside of H Mart. This is the spicy flavor. Oh my God. Honestly, every time I have BBQ chicken, I am reminded how good it is. Yeah. It's marinated in olive oil. All right, so for the real chicken, I'm gonna give this a four out of five. And then for the chicken crackers, I'm gonna give those, I'll give them a four out of five too, because you know what? It's just a fun snack to eat and it really does look like chicken. All right, number five, we got the chip section. Let me know what shape you'd call that. That's like a curly rectangle. Mm. Yo, all the Asian snacks have like super funny labels and graphics on them. We got a corn with a sombrero, some pink <laughs> shades. You won't see that on like US chips. So we got the pizza corn chip in a waffle pattern. Overall better, it does kind of taste like pizza. Not bad. It tastes like a Lunchables pizza. Yeah. All right, next, Dan, we have your beloved whale chips that you grew up with. I've never had these before, but tell me about them. They come in different fun shapes. Like this is a crab, that's a dolphin. I think they have squid. Was this during your chunky days? Yeah, this Did was you... during my chunky days when I was a kid. <laughs> like Dan, a believe it or not, used to be a chubby kid, so. Yeah. All right, whale crackers. Oh, right? These are my favorite chips. You, wow. You can go through a whole bag of these. Not gonna lie, I don't know what kind of MSG combination they sprinkled <laughs> on these, but it is it's hitting. It definitely has a unique flavor. It hits you real sweet, real quick, but then it like <laughs> takes you through some umami seafood flavoring. So I could see why you like these, yeah, bro. It's my favorite. Hey, number six, onto our sweet section. We have the matcha boba milk tea bars, and then we got these injomi. And what is injomi, Dan? I know you gotta look it up. It's like a, like a sweet duck or like bean paste that's like, made of, like, like you know the Korean duck that you eat on New Year's? It's kind of like that put into like a cookie form. Wow, Whoa. that's commercial level. Let's Whoa. do it. Whoa. Angel pie. pie. I like this better than the choco pie and I like it better than the banana choco pie. I give it a 4.5 out of five. Mm. All right guys, here we got the matcha milk tea boba bar. Um, as you guys know, H Mart does not just carry only uh, Korean items. They actually carry a lot of Pan-Asian stuff, a lot of Japanese and Chinese stuff as well. So this is one of their Chinese items. I think the boba's made out of different material. Oh. I think these bobas are made out of konjac, I believe. Something that's always gonna stay in a more jelly form. It is not better than the original. No, the no. brown sugar, oh my God. Now I'm gonna give this a 3.5 out of five though. It's definitely worth copping, but it is not better than the original brown sugar milk tea boba. Oh. At our last section, number seven, we have our cold items. A lot of the Korean items in H Mart are gonna be from Korea, but this one's actually Korean American and it's made in the USA, Florida, imported Florida. from Florida. Here, why don't you try that, the maku, right. and I'm gonna try this kombucha because I low key do drink kombucha sometimes. Korean green tea, kombucha, and maku. Oh, I like this. Good. How I say, oishi? 
맛있어. 맛있어. 고추게 오이시. 아, 잡니. 맛있어. 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 Next drinks, I got the demi soda. This is very popular. People are mixing this with soju and yakult. And I have the achim cham, the morning rice tea. Very good. You yeah. know what? I don't drink a lot of full sugar sodas anymore. I mostly drink Diet Coke. But this, in moderation, in this size of can, I could drink this. This is nice. Yeah. I could see how people are mixing this. This is a great chaser, too. Morning rice. Tastes like a not too sweet cheesecake. As we talk about the progression of K pop fashion and Korean snacks, we gotta talk about Korean food. Now, this next spot, Thursday Kitchen, is ran by a Korean chef from Korea, but it has a lot of Spanish and French influences, which, to be honest, is not that common. So I'm really excited to try it. All right, here we have the edamame dumpling. It has a little bit of sea salt and Parmesan on top, along with some truffle oil. I've never had these type of dumplings before. Wow. All right, here at Thursday Kitchen, they really got some interesting items here. The chef is from Korea, but is French trained. So obviously there's a, there's a fusion of, of flavors going on right now. And yo, when I bit into this dumpling, this edamame dumpling, the first thing that came to mind was a palmeni, the Russian dumpling that's filled with potato, like mashed potato. It's very smooth. It's like pasta. I I'll say it, it's a definitely tastes a lot more like pasta. Yeah. 4.5 out of five. Okay, here we have the lucky noodle. These are hand torn noodles. They're definitely not the long noodles. When you talk about hand torn, you're talking about hand ripped. And this is a Korean style, right? Yeah, lucky, lucky noodle. noodle. It's actually really good. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I gotta go in for one more. All right, Dan, we were just at H Mart uh, getting a lot of Korean snacks. Now we're at a very like hipster Korean fusion spot, but what do you feel like the differences in the crowd? Yeah, I feel like you're not really coming here just to eat like authentic Korean food, but you're getting an elevated experience. So it's not gonna be just the typical crowd that goes to H Mart. It's gonna be like creatives and different artists that seem to be coming in and out of the spot. Right yeah, I don't even think people who come to Thursday Kitchen because one, it has an English name. Yeah. It's it's easy to say and two the food while it is like have some asian elements and particularly korean it's not overtly korean it's very oh, yeah. easy to eat and it's very tasty this almost like the la the two dishes we had between the edamame dumpling and the lucky noodles it does almost taste kind of more italian yeah yeah which is really good but it definitely doesn't strike you as korean basically you know, if you're probably in a BTS, you're probably gonna go to H Mart, but if, for the people who are really into like Yeji and Toki Monster and like, you know, more of the underground hipster Korean artists, I think they would come here to Thursday Kitchen. All right, here we have the Noki. This is like a version of like Tteokbokki, but with the Italian Noki. If you look at that. Wow. They do a really good job of uh, fusing the French influence in with this Korean, like Korean staple food. Okay, this is the Noki. This has a lot of your gochujang flavor. It's gonna kind of feel like uh, the Korean rice cakes dapoki, but it's gonna have a lot of different elevated, elevated elements. This crispy seaweed chip. It has like all these other things. What were some of the things you said? Garlic aioli. Oh, that's like, hell yeah. Oh, French. let's get it. Naki. I never tasted something like that in my life. Is there alcohol in that? Yeah. It tastes like it, right? It tastes like Bro, wine. Am I, am I gonna get drunk? Wow. Yo, definitely the noodle dish is a five out of five. I'd say this Naki dish is a 3.5 out of five. All right, this is uh, one of the dishes I'm really excited to try. This is kimchi paella. Dan, have you had paella before? I've never had paella. Yo, this a, it's, it's from Spain, obviously, you know, it's rice, but this is like a different take on it. And uh, this is, yeah, it has kimchi flavors. I don't know. All right, Dan, as your first paella, it is Korean. So when you meet a Spanish person next time, you can just be like, yo, I had the Korean <laughs> the paella. Version. They're probably gonna be like, what are you talking about? Yo, get the tiger shrimp, man. Kimchi paella. Mm. Oh, wow. This tastes like the bottom of like a jangpong bowl with like the clams and the spicy broth. Mm. And then you put rice in there. It's almost like a chup. Oh, like a rice porridge. Yeah. Yo. So when it comes to the kimchi paella, I definitely like how they were able to spice up paella because uh, generally the paellas I've had are actually not that spicy. And because uh, food in Spain is not as spicy as uh, like Mexican food, which is what a lot of people are exposed to. So um, I like the twist that they added on here. You know, it doesn't taste that crazy. It's not like out of this world, but overall everything was cooked perfectly and the shrimp were delicious. Ending off, we got dessert. This is the popcorn ice cream. Um, not necessarily Korean in any of the elements, but it does come from the chef. 
and to their knowledge, they are the only ones doing this right now. Maybe some other people have copied, but they're the first to do it. Oh, very hard ice cream. All right, damn, as a Korean American, how cool has it been to go to H Mart, dress as K-pop stars, <laughs> buy only Korean products, essentially, and then come here to Thursday Kitchen, which is something that maybe you wouldn't find this in Korea. Yeah, it's so cool to see like the different levels of where Korean food can be. And a lot of the ingredients that we had in the food today can be bought at H Mart too. So it's like, you can see what can be done with the actual food. And then, yeah, just being able to experience Korean food on so many different levels is something that I haven't experienced before. And it feels like it's becoming a new trend. Yo, I, what I would want to say is like, you know, talking to Steven, our server, he has been kind of like saying like Koreans are really good at either trend setting or flipping trends or chasing trends. Now, I, I think there's different connotations to it. But at the end of the day, I think Koreans, they do their own unique thing with them. Even if it's all American elements that are not Korean, yeah. they flip them in their own way and then and then people are like, oh, that makes sense. Because I think Koreans kind of, I think they can also have like similar tastes as Westerners. Like they know yeah. what pops with Westerners. So that's important. So man, I mean, dude, this Thursday kitchen was good. Yeah. Like overall, oh, it was oh actually God. surprisingly so good. good. I didn't know what to expect. Yeah. I had never been here before. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching that video. That wraps it up for our Korean grocery store versus kind of new age, modern Korean spot uh, video along with Fashion Nova Men's. You know, we are dressed up both like Sugar from BTS. Um, and yeah, I mean, guys, shout out to Fashion Over Men's. Make sure you check out the outfits. All the links are down below. Like we said, the outfits are very, very affordable. You can get these crazy music video looks for like a very, very low price. So definitely check it out if you're interested. Um, shout out to Dan, the Korean plug here. In the comments down below, let us know if there's another Korean fusion dish or a popular Korean dish that you would like to see more popular in America because you guys are probably more plugged in than I am. So hit that like button, click subscribe. Let us know in the comments down below. And until next time, we out. Peace. All right, that wraps it up for this one. Thanks to Fashion Nova Men's for sponsoring this series. It was kind of fun to recreate these outfits from what they had available. The fit and look is really just a lot better than what you'd expect. So if you're on a budget, definitely look through their website. Hit the like button, click subscribe, leave it in the comments down below which outfit you thought looked the best and which K-pop star has the best fashion sense in your opinion. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, I'm out. Peace.